Morning, Tenafly Tigers. Please tune your TVs to channel 30.1 or channel 2 for your daily Tiger Rundown. Good morning, Tenafly Tigers. Today is Friday, December 4th. I'm Justin. And I'm David, and here are your morning announcements. The Bergen Family Center Club is spreading holiday cheer this week in partnership with Target. Instead of a toy drive, they are collecting donations of $5 to give back to the center in the form of gift cards. For more information, reach out to Annika Berquist or Dylan Weiss to see how you can donate this week. Now that fall sports are over, some of our athletes and coaches have earned some honors. Congratulations to Jaden Uram being selected as first team all-county team for his efforts in this cross-country season. He finished top 10 in the county at the Bergen finale and followed that up with the seventh place finish at the state sectional meet. We would also like to congratulate Holden Goldberg, Leo Gregory, Kenny Uchida, Edwin Kobos, Ethan Libyan, Joe Hung Jung, Will Mangasser, and Dylan Meisner, who were named to the all-division football team. Finally, congratulations to Coach Toll, who was named a Gatorade slash New York Jets Coach of the Year. While most of America is focused on football right now, recently the Miami Marlins front office made history having the first female general manager. THS TV reporters Ava and Katie have more to say on the topic. This November, MLB history was made. Kim Eng, who has been working with baseball for around 30 years, was hired as the Miami Marlins general manager making her the first female GM. There's no reason a woman can't do the job when you think of what an MLB general manager does. A baseball GM, as a general manager is often called, is responsible for all activities involved in running a baseball team. They manage all aspects of the organization with an emphasis on selling tickets and advertising sponsorships for the team. For example, a GM makes decisions about which players a team should choose in the player draft which players to get or let go in trades with other teams, and how much money the team should pay each player. The GM has to be smart, organized, and have a good eye for baseball talent. And there's definitely no reason Eng isn't up for the task, as shown by her formidable resume. While she started as an intern for the Chicago White Sox after graduating from the University of Chicago, she moved up quickly, becoming an assistant general manager for the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Her work as assistant manager proved to be extremely lucrative as the Yankees won three World Series under her tenure. The significance of Eng's hiring extends beyond baseball, as she is not just the first woman to be a general manager in any of the major men's sports leagues of no in North America, but the second person of Asian descent. Eng's parents, both United States citizens of Chinese descent, went to college in Indiana, where Eng was born. However, she was raised in the East Coast, attending Ridgewood High School in Ridgewood, New Jersey. In a statement released by the team, Eng said that, this challenge is one I don't take lightly. When I got into this business, it seemed unlikely a woman would lead a major league team, but I am dogged in the pursuit of my goals. This has been your Daily Tiger Rundown. Once again, I'm Justin. And I'm David. Thanks for watching and have a great day.